And hello again, everybody. Welcome to another segment of What a Great Idea. And today we are talking to all those out there with preschoolers between the age of two and five. You know, we all know how to teach a preschooler age two to five, uh, a one plus one and the ABCs, okay? But how do you teach them to have confidence? How do you teach them to believe in themselves? Uh, you know, traits and characteristics that will serve them well throughout their entire lives. Well, with a solution to that problem, we have Sue Lee with us right now from EQ Media. Correct, yes, Sue? Correct. Good to have you here. I'm thrilled to be here. Welcome. Thank you so much. Did Bob. I sum it up right at the beginning? You did. Of, I mean, how do, that really yeah. is a challenge. I mean, how do we teach those little ones to have that confidence? It is a challenge because most parents easily know how to go one plus one equals two, Z A T is cat. Right. But what do we do when we give them the word catastrophe and they can't handle it? It oh becomes boy. a catastrophe. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's really simple to do because since the beginning of time, children have learned by mimicking. So if there was a two-year-old here and a right. four-year-old, okay. that two-year-old Nine times out of ten, they're going to copy that four-year-old. That's point. their hero. The three-year-old's hero is the five- and six-year-old. So what we simply do is we film real kids being kids, doing lessons of life that teach them how to handle life. Because what we all want to do is be able to participate in life. Everybody wants to know, how do I do this? How do I participate? Because life is what we participate in, exactly. not what happens to us. So Good we point. film those things, and the kids watching, they're real kids. Right. So right. they're going to imitate the kids in the DVD. And the kids in the DVD will look right at the camera and they'll say, let me hear you say, think big. And the kids watch them go, think big, think big. And they imitate the same behaviors. Oh, wow. So that's what's on the DVD, That's what's right? on the DVD. How did you get the little ones to do that? I mean, that almost oh, seems like it's difficult. That, are there outtakes? There are outtakes. <laughs> oh, watch the end. There are outtakes. They are sure. so special. They but are so precious. But how did you get them to do that? So what we did is we set up a studio just like this, okay. and we would have like a playroom. So this is an example of one of the scenes in there. So there's, we have children in a bedroom, and right. what they're doing is they're building a fort. Okay. And there's boxes and teddy bears all over the place. And so the six-year-old, six-year-old, three-and-a-half-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old. Okay. Subtle messages, we interact with people of different ages. Six-year-old says to the three-and-a-half-year-old, hey, Luke, will you go get that box for me? And as he's struggling, now she encouraged him. Right. The kids are going to mimic that. They'll understand ah. that. Three-and-a-half-year-old carries it, and she's going, you can do it. You can do it. Encouragement. Ah. He drops the box down. He looks up at her, and he goes, did it. And she looks right at the camera and she goes, let me hear you say, I did it. And then they do it. So it's oh all we my. do. It's real How life. How did you come real up with kids. it? This is so different. By the way, you can dial that number that you see here at the bottom of the screen. You can dial and get this and get more information. But, but Sue, how did you come up with this? I was teaching adults. I had my own pro program called Life Management Skills uh -huh. that I was taking into corporations. And everybody kept saying to me, if only I had learned this as a child. I should have learned this when I was little. And I thought, well, isn't that when we're supposed to learn it, is when we're little? Right. And I was already raising my kids that way, and they were turning out really, really well. And so I thought, hmm, because we're not teaching. As an educator, I have a degree in um, elementary education. Right. Well, as an educator, I thought, we're teaching them all of this IQ stuff, the reading, writing, and arithmetic, but we're not teaching them how to be patient and how to hang in there and how to be kind. So when everybody kept saying, if only I learned this as a child, I thought, hmm, mm. duh, let's yeah. do it with little kids. <laughs> and so it does make are. sense, but I'm, I'm, we're certainly glad you thought of it, because yes, I never you. would have thought of it. Thank but you. it does make sense, because you have that instant credibility, yes. right? And, and the believability and the acceptance, yes. and that's what you need to yes. do. So once again, you can get this simply by dialing that number that you see on the screen. And, and when you call in and order this, we're, we have a little oh, bonus for everybody, we sure don't do we? have a bonus. Tell because us about we the bonus. Have the bonus is actually this curriculum guide, or it can be called an activity guide, mm -hmm. that extends the whole use of it. There's four little segments in there. Okay. Each segment, what's really great about that is that there's four segments that are five minutes long. So you can watch five minutes at a time. Oh, okay. So it's not taking watch. up a lot of time. You don't have to time. take it, right. right. And then with this, it extends the use of it. So there's actual activities that parents or grandparents right. or preschools or whoever right. want to take it and broaden that experience. And, and so that comes free. 
Yeah, so you get that simply by dialing in and get when you get this, you get that. And Sue wanted to make sure that you got that as well, which is great. Yeah. So we're talking about instilling the confidence, yes. uh, building those characteristics that will serve everybody well throughout their entire lives. Exactly. Uh, how to be kind. Mm -hmm. Well, what are some other? Well, some of them are really important because some of the things that we know now, because bullying is a big problem mm. out there. So we all know that this that bullying is a huge problem. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that children need to learn is how to be a friend, how to join in, how to be aware of others, how to respect yourself and respect others and lift yourself up and lift others. And we do all of that, kind of, we do all of that in the DVD by children actually displaying these behaviors of how to handle life. Right. But, but as a parent, it can be so, become so frustrating Oh, because you see yes. the frustration in the <laughs> yes. child, right? You Which, do. as a parent, furthers your own frustration. It does. And I'm going to flip that, okay. in a sense. Okay. Because not only do we, as parents, want so badly to be able to teach that to our children, but here's a perfect example. One, a gentleman I know who has two and a half year old twins, right. he said, my sons are crazy about your DVD. And he said, I was in the kitchen on the stepladder and reaching up trying to get something off the top of the freezer. And he said, my two and a half year old at the table said, you can do it, Dad. I believe in you. Oh, oh my. Now, there's the flip of that, because not only wow. when we want as parents to be able to teach children, when those children apply it in everyday life or they flip it back, I also know of a couple who were having an argument <laughs> and they didn't realize their three and a half year old could hear them and most three-year-olds would have a temper tantrum or whatever, right. they said, he got right between us, put a smile on his face, went like this and went, be good, be kind, oh. be nice. And so you can use it both. It's coming and That was the end of that right. argument, right? That's right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So he was teaching the parents. Wow. So there's a double benefit. You see, the, double. <laughs> you, you see the rewards in your own child, yes. which of course you know warms your heart and yes. everything, but then you get the benefit like Sue talked about as well. So dial that number. Do not let another moment go by. Don't let any more frustration fester in the relationship. You want to make sure that you have the right tools. And that's what I believe in me is all about. It's giving you the right tools, but you have to make that call. And once again, what, what Sue has done, she is also giving you the workbook uh, that's going to go along with it. I mean, that's a bonus. You get that absolutely free when you get the I Believe in Me DVD. It's not about IQ, it's about EQ. Now tell us, what is EQ? Yeah. EQ actually is the utilization of your emotions, your thoughts, the words you say out loud, and the actions you take to have a positive difference in your life. That's what we all want That's for ourselves teaching. and our children. Absolutely. Right? Okay, Sue, thank you so much. Thank for you so much. Make that call right now. Great, thank you. So if you want your little one to learn self-confidence, to how to be a friend, how to be kind, how to be determined, how to have those traits that will serve them well throughout their entire lives. Take advantage of what Sue Lee has put together in the I Believe in Me DVD for preschoolers. We're talking two to five years of age. Make that call right now and make a difference.